Oi oi, Christopher here. I did try to record this with a camera, like in the good old days, but um, honestly, I don't really have the energy. And I'd look terrible, so I just gave up. Um, so you get to watch me fail at Tetris. Again. <laughs> so enjoy that. Gutted. Um, I don't do these videos very often, really. Um, I think the last one was just over half a year ago. But it seems seems time to do another because uh, there's a few things I want to say. Um, I have got an update on my cancer situation and um, well last month was actually two years since I was first um, diagnosed and hospitalized so just kind of felt appropriate you know. First of all thank you so much to everyone that's donated to my GoFundMe. It really really means a lot and has made a humongous difference to my life. Um, as I'm sure you can imagine having not worked since this all started and only being part-time uh, during peak coronavirus <laughs> yeah finances are not remotely good in fact they're the worst they've ever been in my life so this really has helped out an awful lot um, so thank you I'm not gonna name specific names because if I do I'll be here all day and then uh, I'll end up missing someone out and feel like a twat so I am a twat so uh, yeah just thank you so much to everyone that's helped um, yeah that's one of the main things I wanted to say. Other big thank yous to my girlfriend who's kept me entertained through all of this. Um, if it wasn't for COVID and then this cancer, we would be married and living together at this point. So, yeah, <laughs> she's uh, she's pretty amazing for sticking around through this shit. Also to my mum, who has gone out of her way, come over from France to look after me as much as she possibly can and just uh, turn me into an even lazier version of the way I was when I was a child so yeah that's really helpful when she can come over she does um, so massive thanks to her otherwise to my um, my friends that live locally that have, most of which have been really nice um, everyone on Rulemook and the people on YouTube who have been personally contacting me um, not just for donations just like nice words of encouragement that's been really nice so thank you to all of those people pretty much anyone that's been in touch with me on Facebook I don't go on Facebook so when I do it's really nice I always have a few messages from people um, and also thanks to uh, Alex Mark and Lewis who set up my GoFundMe um, huge thanks to them and also to my other friend Alex who has been consistently for a year and a half uploading old clips of my twitch streams to YouTube um, editing them, doing everything, so I've not done anything, and he's just been completely unprompted, just uh, putting stuff on my channel for me, just off his own accord, which is very, very nice. So thank you so much for that, Alex. Um, I'll reward you by continuing to ignore you, as I do. The last thing I want to say before I update you on my uh, treatment situation is, it's not aimed at any one person in particular. Uh, it's just a general thing that it's better to say overall than to uh, single anyone out. But a, a not insignificant amount of people have got quite uh, angry. Angry is the wrong term. Short with me, uh, assuming that I am not being in touch or intentionally saying saying no to meeting up or not hanging out with you. Um, <laughs> I really appreciate that you like you want to see me and you want to hang out that's really great um, I'm not only talking about people that live locally I'm talking about people from from back in my twitch days as well it's really nice that you want to uh, hang out and see me but I think I think maybe your perception of how capable I am and what my life is like is um, is is not quite accurate uh, as an example and I feel guilty for this. Most of the time when I'm at chemotherapy, I look at the other patients and I'm jealous. I'm jealous of the normal looking, I'm sure it's not that way, but I'm jealous of the normal looking lives they get to um, live. I, I don't know. Basically, if you type on the internet or if you send someone a text, they assume that you're fine. And then if you can't meet up with them, which I generally can't, they take it as you don't want to see them, which is not the case at all. Um, I do spend 99% of my time alone. Uh, the only place I really go is the hospital 
or the doctors. Um, so yeah, I'm not out partying with some people and ignoring others. Um, I haven't even left Bournemouth in three years, over three years, because as soon as the lockdowns lifted was when I went into the hospital. And I'm someone that used to travel a lot, so it is uh, it's quite horrible for me. The only, the only time I went outside of Bournemouth was to go to a different hospital. <laughs> and that was only in the town along, so yeah. Right now, today actually is exactly exactly one month since my last chemo session so I've had a, a twice more than twice as much recuperation time as normal um, and because of this I arranged to meet up with a fair few friends of mine that live locally here in Bournemouth um, three different groups of friends and one of my exes and I wasn't well enough to meet up with any of them uh, you tend to overestimate how we were going to be and yeah unfortunately I couldn't meet up with any of them because I just wasn't well enough I really thought I would be um, so please don't take me not being in touch or not meeting up with you as a personal slight I literally can't I'm not gonna get into the depressingness of what my life is like but it's not a life it's barely an existence so please please don't take it personally if I can't keep in touch or anything like that anyway on to my health so the treatment that is costing me so much every month is um, it's not working by working you'd want it to be shrinking the tumours uh, what it's doing is maintaining the tumours size to a degree uh, the tumours are still growing but they're not growing as fast as they would be if nothing was happening so it's doing something but it's not doing enough so considering that the London treatments failed they are almost out of ideas so we are trying something that uh, really we shouldn't be having at the size of my tumours but they have openly told me that we are almost out of ideas and treatments that are possible so we're going for very long shots instead of just long shots now so what I am having done is TACE which is a trans arterial chemoembolism Normally I would be having um, a standard radioactive embolism but the place that would have done that, Southampton, says no, they won't do it on me because my cancer is too far gone. Now the radiologist openly told me that the response to this treatment is quote mixed, um, it's going to be very painful but I will have had worse uh, and I'm going into hospital to have it done tomorrow and I'll be staying in there longer than expected which is why I wanted to get this video done ASAP so um, yeah hopefully I won't die if I do Woo! yeah that was me being a ghost not celebrating my own death as relieving as that would be uh, I've almost got 90 lines um, good job Tetris so thanks for watching please share my GoFundMe link everywhere you can and have a nice day. Bye.